In this video, we are going to install a very interesting model Edge Dam by Facebook that is an optimized version of SAM2 for mobile devices that has been designed to run efficiently on Edge devices like smartphones while maintaining comparable performance for video segmentation tasks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. The key innovation in this model stem from recognizing that previous SAM optimization efforts focused solely on compressing the image encoder. And we already have covered that by the way on the channel if you search with SAM2. And we also saw that SAM2's newly introduced memory attention blocks actually represent a significant computational bottleneck. Edge Dam addresses this by introducing a new 2D spatial perceiver module that compresses the densely stored frame level memories. So let's try to get this installed and we will talk more about its architecture. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment with Konda. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. I will drop the link in video's description. Okay, let's go back and check our environment that is done. Next up, let's git clone the repo of HTM and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Once that's done, let's install all the prerequisites in the editable format. And then we can launch our Gradio demo by running this script. And the first time when you run it, it is also going to download the model and you can see it's a very smallish model. So let's try to access this Gradio demo in our local system at port 7860. So there you go. So this is our Edge Dam which is running. They have also given some of the instructions where you can upload your video and then you can start tracking on the basis of some point. So let's first try out one tracking video. So I'm just going to select an example. So this is the input video I have selected. Point type is include. I want to include this in tracking. So maybe what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this red glass on in her hand. So this is what I want to track. So as soon as I have clicked here, you can see it has created on the right hand side only this masked here, right? And then you can click on track. It is going to generate the tracking video, which will be tracking this class. Now, while it runs, let's, um, maybe I will let it run and then we will see what happens. And then in the next one, we are going to check VRAM consumption. Okay, so it has generated the video. Let me scroll down and play it look at there you go so it is now tracking so everything else is moving but it is still uh you know tracking that class so that is the whole point of it not only include but you can instead of including you just want to exclude that you can click on exclude and you can select the point and then you can clear the point from here it will just reinitialize itself so for instance similarly you can also select this bird one and then can go from there so for example, I'll just maybe um, select the bird. There's nothing much else. So bird is selected. So you see the only thing which is masked is bird. And then you can click on track. It is going to generate the tracking video. Let's check the VRAM consumption. So it is just consuming uh, around 800, 700 meg of VRAM. So it means that you can simply easily run it on CPU. No issues there. So there you go. So the bird is being tracked. The mask, is, the mask is only on the bird, nothing else. And this is a reference video, by the way. Now, let me, uh, what uh, you know, let me just use one of my own uh, video now from my local system. I'm just going to reload it and then select one video of my own. So I have just selected this video. The quality of video is not that good, but it, heck, let's check it out. I'm just, just selected the point here. So the, only my face is masked here. Let's click on track. And while it generates this, let's talk a bit more about this arch architecture of the model. 
The architecture of this model centers around the 2D spatial perceiver, which uses a lightweight transformer with a fixed set of learnable queries split into two groups to preserve spatial structure essential for dense prediction tasks. One group performs global attention across input features for frame level summarization, while the other group handles local patches through 2D spatial priors. Maintaining spatial structure while reducing token count, as we already saw in few of the examples here. And this whole thing is complemented by a knowledge distillation pipeline that transfers knowledge from the original SAM2 teacher model to the efficient student model through feature-wise alignment during both image and video segmentation training stages. And you can integrate this HTAM with any SAM2 variant uh, and the score which they have shared is quite I would say impressive and you can find that in their github repo which I will drop the link in video description. By the way while it um, generates let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation and you will also find their link in video's description so please do check them out. Okay so let's go back here it is taking a fair bit of time. I'm actually not sure how much VRAM it is taking now is it higher or lower because I'm not using their example. No, VRAM consumption is same, which is always good. Anyway, I will let it run and then we will uh, see what happens here. It is still running and I think it generated already. But I just wanted to show you something else. You see, I already have covered a few of the other variants of SAM, which you can easily integrate with this model. There are a lot of them. Okay, so let's go back to see what happened here. Let me play this. You see the mask stays there even my head and face are moving but the mask stays there and it is quite I would say perfect it, there is no malformation it is not going here and there the quality looks quite good. Yep quite impressive I'm, I'm quite happy with the model what do you think? So look I'm um, very very keen to hear your thoughts on it. I think Facebook has or Meta whatever the name is has done really really good. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this video. If you enjoyed it and if it is helpful please like it share it among your network and I just wanted to request again that this is the only marketing I do. I totally solely wholly rely on you guys for marketing so please do me a favor and share these videos and channel among your network. I will be very very grateful and upright. Thank you for the support.